Oh, what's your weapon? I mean, you no know, harm. <laughs> Welcome to Podcast from the Pit. I'm Kelsey. I'm Hillbilly. And with us today, we have returning guests. I'll let them introduce themselves. They have a great show called Classic Profiles. Take it away, guys. I'm Steve, the writing dad. We- and I'm Agent Chuckles. Yeah. Right. And yes, I expect so- you to call me Agent Chuckles. No. Right. That's, he's he's short. Games, whatever. Legally, he changed it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had a party the other day. Yeah. So second time having you guys on. Yeah, super excited. Yeah, I had yeah, such a great time. Us. We're like, we have to do it again. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I great. believe we talked for like an hour and forty-five minutes last time, and it felt like fifteen. Yeah, yeah, it and it could have gone longer. Yeah, yeah, oh, like it definitely could have went longer. Absolutely. But I have yeah. zero agenda as per usual. So let's just talk. <laughs> <laughs> what was you saying, birthday? I mean, Eric. <laughs> so my first question for uh, Steve. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. No here. Uh, Wait, Steve, where? what was it like being Aquaman in the last two Aquaman movies? I was actually pretty good. Uh, <laughs> so. Well, they don't tell you about, you know, all the Hollywood. You see it and it's like, oh, my God, that can't be as good as it is, you know, as good as it seems. It absolutely is. I just, I'm here to say, like, everything you heard is true. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, Kiwi. Hey, Campbell. Owen. So, follow-up question. Uh, why was the last one so bad? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I blame they didn't really let you down in this one. You no, know, uh, blame uh, the director. You know, I mean, my acting <laughs> flawless. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, I think you need to play it a little bit more serious next time. I, I'm working on the drama. I'm working yeah, on, me and my yeah. Drama coach, it was definitely a cooking. You know, I feel like there was a, a heavy Thor Ragnarok uh, As, influence in this one, and they should have yeah. stopped that. Yeah, to to comedy they were trying to go to it yeah look if you're talking to fish you need to take it seriously <laughs> uh just a heads up i've not seen it yet i've seen the first one i enjoyed okay. it no spoilers I no, am, don't, away any don't worry nothing happens anyway i am a dc over marvel guy okay that's just oh. the way i was raised yeah that guy <laughs> my guy you know what i'm <laughs> uh, <we should> <laughs> and uh thanks for getting up ronnie we really appreciate it yeah oh, that's awesome yeah, and, uh, you. campbell it's it's so good to have you in the stream here yeah uh, we're we'll definitely gonna have right. you on sometime yeah that would be cool man that would be awesome so we finally had you? ronnie on last week it was so much fun yeah, <laughs> it was a blast last week. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I will honestly say that so far we've not had a guest I have not enjoyed. So we've been blessed in that aspect. And, and I've only been turned down by one person, and that's just because they were busy. Hmm. So I'm this hoping we can get that rescheduled. No. Uh, you know, I, I tell people all the time, we just do this to get to know other other people yeah. who enjoy the stuff we enjoy. That's right. And honestly, Hands that's across it. the country. Yeah. I Shows across the country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and across the world because we got New Zealand and Australia in here. That's right. That's, awesome. that's pretty cool. Multinational is awesome. Yep. Yes, Campbell. We will, we'll definitely get this set up soon. It, it will be a lot of fun. Yeah. The bad thing about last week, Ronnie and them spoke better English than I do. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> and we're learning their slang. <laughs> yeah, so that's some good stuff there. Fun. I'll use it at work. <laughs> it was funny because Ronnie sent me some stuff to try to say and record it. Mm-hmm. So I did that, and then I dropped I dropped a bomb on him. I was like, "They can all," and I typed it out, and he's like, "What?" is this it's a bunch of gibberish i was like no say it and he's it was way off and then i sent it to casey and he's like kenny Noah or 
something? And I was like, no. But it, it's a rule that runs in what here in West, Western, West by God, Virginia. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. Yeah, I'm, That's there's why I ramble. So, yeah, there's so much. We've met so many good people doing this. Um, we need subtitles. <laughs> 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 You know what? Uh, so's mine. I'm a mumbler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I speak fluent hillbilly. There you go. There you go. Yeah. You don't understand. There's so many different dialects in America, man. <laughs> it's just yes, everywhere. Just like everywhere else. Like I was asking Ronnie if he'd ever had fried scores. What? <laughs> yeah. Is that a squirrel wrapped in a key? Wrapped oh, in a what? what? I don't know. Like... Scorch. Um, my squash? wife would call it squash. Squash. Oh, oh the no. R. Thing. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what the craziest yeah. thing I get that. is? Like, I was not thinking squash at all. <laughs> no, I was like thinking turducken. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, there's a squirrel in there somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is the squirrel the outer shell or the inner shell? Is it a squirrel yeah, cool surprise? Like, uh, so, when Casey comes here, he's getting surprised squash with that, with the outer shell being squirrel. Hey now. Now then, big boy. <laughs> I think that was from uh, the first vacation movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I think so. They stopped at Cousin first Eddie's and. Yeah. The girls on the on the uh, yeah. seesaw. Yeah. I don't Connor, know why, right? but mine went. My mind went to Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the same zip code. Yeah. Sure do, yes, yeah. Party mouth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> real quick, has anybody got anything in this week? On uh, um, our, our oh. birthday today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, a, day. I got a Jeep. <laughs> I got my Jeep too. Yes, it's awesome. And I got another opportunity for a terrible custom with uh, this right, little yeah. hooded Cobra Commander head. At least I only have to paint yeah. most of it blue. You know, I can really screw up the eyes, but as long as the blue is good, nice, it yeah. should work. Now, are, are you guys? Anybody reading the uh, the newest series that Hama's doing, where he continued at three hundred and one? I'm buying them, but I haven't I haven't cracked one. I only cracked open three hundred one. I haven't. I mean, I I know what's going on basically, but yeah. I haven't actually read it. Well, I'm seeing an opportunity because the Cobra Commander there doesn't have his mask. Or That's right. He's got a, like a bella club. Right. Yeah. He looks pretty. He looks pretty wicked. He looks pretty wicked. Right. I like it. I, I never thought of that before, and it does look pretty cool. I would love to see a yeah. figure of that. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. I want to get into that series, also, man. I want to. Um, I'm going to try this week to go pick them up. You're only like 300 issues behind, Steve. So you know. <laughs> I was going to start all over again. <laughs> you know, normally I would say buy the trade paperbacks, but mm -hmm. some of those are triple digits now. Yeah. Wait. So. Wait for uh, Skybound to re-release them. Again, yeah, and that could happen. Yeah. Buy them all again. Omnibus. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I need. Mean. Lots of omnibuses. And lots, 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 lots. A schoolyard of omnibuses. Oh, I like that. A schoolyard of omnibuses. So, I got two things yesterday before I was heading out to Kentucky. Okay. I got my Ooh, metal head. Oh, bam! Nice. No, that's the have, tank. Have, no, he's bang, 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 bang. Bang! That's right. Bang! I will open him later, but Eric sent me a gift for my birthday that was a couple weeks ago. Nice. Oh. And it finally came in, and I could not be happier. I would like to see your... Oh, oh nice. From Valiverse. That nice. That's it blowback, is the only Valiverse right? figure I have. Yes. He is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty sweet. 
but uh, I mean, he'll fit right in with the Joes. Thinking about popping him in the van, take a couple pictures of that. But yeah, I, I love this figure right now. It's my figure of the year, I would think. Nice. nice. I would like the senior face when you seen that box. You know, and <laughs> this is, I told my wife this. When he was first up for order, I hovered over him for about 30 minutes. You know, I, <laughs> I doom scroll for toys I want. I'm not going to lie. I do it all the time. And, I, and it said Bill 2 Casey Wheeler. And I'm like, did I order that? No, I didn't. Know. I'm checking because everything I order, I order off the same card. I'm checking. I'm like, I didn't order that. Then I thought, Eric. <laughs> 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 so I, I messaged Eric. He's like, what, me? No. <laughs> so I knew it was him. And it's very much appreciated. It is an amazing figure. I am so happy to have him. Uh, hope Hope he's not a gateway into getting a couple other Valiverse figures that I always thought was cool, but honestly, the way I am, it probably is. Like a... Yeah. Gotcha. Is open. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's very awesome. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm contemplating the Vanguard now, but I'm contemplating the Vanguard now. <laughs> yeah. uh, as, as one does, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm just saying, something that holds... What eight to ten six inch in ten figures? Six inch figures. Yeah, hundred eighty bucks free shipping. That's a good deal. Yeah, nice. yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I can put a lot of Joes in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, it is. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, the the basement's good enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do have a house for all of my toys. Believe it or not. Nice. My wife makes me keep my collection in her cellar house. I don't know if okay. you know what a cellar house is. I do not. It's, it's a it's like an apartment built over top of our cellar, and it's finished. Awesome. And I got it set up like a comic book group or a comic book store right now, but. I'm starting oh, to thin the herd out on the comics. So if you either you three are looking for something, let me know. Okay. Cool. No G.I. Joe for Batman. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I'm looking to move, start moving some of the stuff that doesn't mean as much to me. So I get some Joe Fest money built up with yeah. the uh, granddaughter coming. We've been putting a lot of money towards that. No, absolutely. <laughs> She's really cutting into my toys. All right. All right. <laughs> She better. She better be. Uh, she better be cute. <laughs> she will be beautiful. Uh, sure. You just need to say, "Listen, girl, Papa needs his toys." Yeah, not Papa. Pops. Pops. <laughs> Pops right. needs his toys. There you go. And she will have hers too. I'll take her toy shopping once a month when she starts playing with toys. Awesome. Heck yeah. That's right. She will. She will be rotten. Should be my little partner in crime. Nice. <laughs> I had to get it. Didn't look at her face. Like, you know, yes. how do you say I no to this? I can't tell her no. No. Yeah. No. You be I, the I bad guy. No. Yeah. Then give her a two liter of Mountain Dew and like a king size Hershey and send her home. Let her loose. <laughs> yeah. nope. It's done. No back. Like, you are so well behaved for me. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all I've been thinking about since I found out that we were going to have a grandchild. Nice. Man. Six weeks away. I talk about it a little too much, probably, but I don't care. No. It will be no. the greatest thing. I that always tell my wife, I was like, how am I wrapped around a finger I've not seen yet? <laughs> Never held her hand. But she can get anything she wants from me. No, that's yeah. awesome. No, that's, that's how it should be. That's good. Yeah. 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 Super excited. Yeah. Uh, well, just in case anybody's wondering, there will not be a show next week. I will be out of town with my wife unless Hillbilly and Matt want to put something together, which I think you guys should ask for. Nice. I think I would love yeah. to see an episode yeah. I'm not on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And probably everybody else would like to see it too, right? <laughs> <laughs> So you was talking about the G 
guests that you all didn't like. You, you've never had a guest on here you didn't like. Except for that one time when a young hillbilly was on here for the very first time and you all was like, can we not shut this guy up? <laughs> when we first started doing this with you, it was hard to get you to talk. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. Go back and watch it. It was hard to get you to talk. But when you did talk, gold. So <laughs> I have told Shane on uh, that. Yeah. We met we get nervous in front of the camera for the first time yeah. and they just stare. Uh, yeah, I, I would say like a deer in headlines, I but I'm afraid Eric would shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me on the table. Woo, table. Right. <laughs> Next to but, some uh, squirrel quiche. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I bet that would be good. <laughs> he was telling me about squirrel gravy. Oh, oh, <laughs> I have nothing against squirrel. I've I've had squirrel before. It's just funny. Like yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just weird that we're five hours away and things are so different. Oh yeah. 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 It's I mean, that's one of the great things. Yeah. What you do is you roll your squirrel squirrel and flyer, <laughs> fry it out. Why? All I'm seeing is just like the floppy squirrel body. Like, <laughs> you got to clean it first. That's, that's oh, all yeah. I'm thinking of. Like just a hairless squirrel body just flopping <laughs> around as you dredge it in flour. <laughs> you, you dredge it in your flour and you fry it. And then you, whenever, you, whenever it's done, you pull it out of the skillet and your drippings, you make your gravy. <laughs> For the uh, keto diet, can I put? Can I use almond flour, or is it better with coconut flour? <laughs> right, like, uh, oh, what kind of breading should I use on this? <laughs> that's what that's what our listeners are wanting to know. Which is is it? What breading is best with squirrel? You gotta shoot it first, Ronnie. <laughs> oh, <Dude, clean> <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't like being clean before you shoot them. <laughs> is it better a bb gun or a regular gun because well yeah. you know i've shot them with everything from a 22 to a 12 gauge so... i guess the 12 gauge is when you want to <laughs> he's like Yo, I'm, I'm making sure you don't get away from me <laughs> don't use slugs <laughs> I'm killing everything in this particular area. That's right. In this conal <laughs> shape, <laughs> this is my zone. It's all I'm, going in the pot. That's the kill box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ronnie, you need to come here, buddy. I will learn you how to hold mm. a gun. Oh, man. I've got a few to choose from. So, not get for, not getting on that again. But it's no. world gravy, man. Wow. Every <laughs> biscuit. Uh, I take it, Mister Chuckles has never had that. No, I've my only that. I've I've killed my share of squirrel, but I've never thought. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's in my card. How dirty could it be? <laughs> No, they used to infest my shed all every every winter, and then when I go in in the beginning of spring, it would look like Dexter, just yeah. like all over the place. And so those little buggers are, I don't know what they do to each other, but I don't, I don't, you know, it's it's like it's Hellraiser stuff, man. I don't. I, uh, so I would. <laughs> this is when I lived in Virginia, so maybe this makes sense. But I would open up my my upstairs bathroom window and you know, sniper <laughs> from there. Just okay, there was a BB gun next to my toilet, and I was just. <laughs> 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 oh God. Hey, Aaron, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> just hey. taking out the trash while moving. <laughs> <in the hands>. <laughs> <laughs> I had this the intro to Private Ryan in my head, you know. I'm just like I'm ready, you know. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Looking for the squirrel with the flamethrower on his back to blow them all. Up. So I was having a bad day at work one day, mm -hmm. and I want to tell the story, and then we can move away from squirrel hunting, and y'all make it fun of me. But 
But um, so I I start went out hunting after for golf. Or... <laughs> <laughs> so I was walking through the woods and I see the squirrel. He dropped out. He dropped a nut beside me. So the gun I had had a twenty two barrel and a four ten barrel. On it. This is gonna get. <laughs> Sorry, Chuckles. But uh no, I'm good. I'm in there. I'm with you. So you dropped flipped, a nut. Yes, yeah, so I flipped, <laughs> up, or flipped the switch up for the 22 and I popped at him mm -hmm. and I missed him. And he <sighs> run down and stood on the side of the tree and looked at me. <laughs> he, I, mm. he, <laughs> no, he was more like <laughs> and uh <laughs> so I flipped to the 410 as as I squeezed it off, he jumped. So I break it down. I'm reloading, and he's watching me. Uh -huh. I'm like, son, you just made it personal. <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> I'm whirling it around, and he's in midair as I catch him. <laughs> I cut him in two. I mean, I was like eight foot away from him. <laughs> That's so awesome. he asked for it. <laughs> he had it. <laughs> right, see right there, I think you're protecting yourself. <laughs> Next move, he was on you. <laughs> That's right. Oh. I got back to my wife's grandma's house, and everybody was like, I was telling them about it, and he's like, so that squirrel ran up and grabbed your barrel and stuck it to his chest and said, you be stupid. <laughs> Get him out, and he fell in two. He was just eight slum up with shot, <laughs> but he was tasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said oh. he's tasty though. I got oh. my last laugh. I'm gonna, I need to end every story, but he was tasty. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Aaron. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm off my soapbox. That's Go, awesome. Casey. No, that was awesome. That yeah, was no. Awesome. Should we all tell one final squirrel story? Or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I can top that one, though. That's, that's the best. I don't have any squirrel stories. Oh, oh man. The only, only other one I've got. One What's that? I had one mean mug me when I was taking my dog out. <laughs> it was on the side of a tree, just like that. Yeah, it just and I'm just like on the corner, just mm, mm -mm, keep yeah. walking, buddy. He's, He's like, like all right, all right. <laughs> he said, keep walking. He's like, you boys out here don't know how to do it. Good yeah, I was like, we got we got to turn around. <laughs> this world's mean. <laughs> oh god, you just don't know where you're at, huh, buddy? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious, man. Only thing I can say about squirrels is I, I've seen an albino one. That would be pretty. That was and I. I that's took a rare a Pokemon, ball, man. In Richmond, of all places, like, I'm driving in Richmond for work and whatever, and all of a sudden, man, and I see these two squirrels like they're dancing around each other. And I was like, what? what? Is that a white <laughs> squirrel? Yeah. Not many predators in Richmond. No, they can't get rid of it. So see, you know, this thing is luxurious. It's shining. You know what I mean? Like the sun yeah, is yeah. You, know? you got to use your master that's, ball on that one. Right, amongst all the grays. And that's what I'm thinking of, man. If that was a Pokemon, I would have I would have <laughs> that thing right away. You know? Missed opportunity, I've, man. I've seen albino deer deer here, and they're deer? beautiful. Never seen oh, yeah. I've seen, I've seen um, we get deer, not so much around my neighborhood, uh, but, you know, occasionally. Um, but we get a lot of deer like up the road. They wow. were in a, well, in a animal sanctuary. It was like a no hunting area. Mm -hmm. And uh somebody went in and uh poached them. Ah. Little Have rebels. nothing for poachers, man. Yeah. I mean a big fat <laughs> we call them koalas. <laughs> <laughs> Had me going for a second. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the koalas have venereal disease, don't they? You watch out <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you just gonna just chill like you didn't say? <laughs> I'm just gonna let that. I'm gonna let that uh, breathe, percolate. 
<laughs> he just let it go like <laughs> it'd be funny if that so, was the only uh, thing I said all episode yeah. <laughs> so everybody's gonna go back to from now on <laughs> what Wait, did I did I imagine that did he say that <laughs> so no. you guys just released an episode today yes <laughs> oh G.I. Joe yes yeah. yeah. right. yeah. right. we're transitioning yeah. right. from oh. squirrels and squirrel gravy to G.I. Joe sure yeah <laughs> I can't wait till Casey comes here. A non-squirrel <laughs> question. Got it. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Mindbender, right? Yes. Dr. Mindbender came out uh, bright and early. And at least my time, anyway. Yep. Yep. We uh, we talked about him so much last time. It's like, we got to bust him out, his episode. So learn all about Dr. Mindbender and uh, his... Uh, why he's maybe maybe why he's motivated to be such a squirrel eating mofo. No, I don't know. <laughs> I had to bring squirrels and we back do, we, somehow. Yeah, no. we do get into the debate. Which one is Yeah, better? yeah. He's um, he's uh, I love talking the weirdos. You or know. uh dad bod version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They do That's need nice. to do dad bod. Oh dad bod, <laughs> one, yes. You know what would be funny? Funny would be if they Hasbro did a like a whole line. Of dad bod Joe's, you know, like what if you saw Flint, you know, 30 years on, he's let himself go, you know what I mean? Like, yo, he's just he's just lugging around a hoagie, you know what like, I mean? Like like a real, real American hero where they're like, like realistic yeah, body sizes and shapes and league. like you know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. know, one of them's a gym teacher now. Yep. There's a koala as <laughs> tea. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Kidneys. I, I will tell you that uh, I hope you ordered the airborne last slide because I am ready for plastic profiles for airborne. The best. Yep. Show. Yep. Yep. It's uh, it's airborne. He's in the pipe. He's in the pipeline. Name name only release. No. It. It. I've got him. So we've got. Uh, let's see. We've got. Um. um Barbecue, or sorry, uh, yeah, barbecue and slaughter are the next couple. I'm not sure if it's that order. And then uh, after that, we'll have some combination of mutt, low light, and a special other one after that. Yeah, fun. So, yeah, they're coming, but Air Airborne's coming. I, I can, because, you know, Airborne's one of those guys, it's like, is he, does he jump out of planes or is he a helicopter guy? You know, yeah. I think there's a lot of, I mean, you use them both. how you want to use them. That's the beauty of G.I. Yeah. Joe. He's what you want him to be. But mm. um, according to his file card, which is what we do. Right. Um, yeah. So I'm excited. To, I'm excited to get into Airborne. Definitely. Yeah. He's, R2? He's, yes. He's been my favorite Joe since 83. Yeah. He's, he's awesome. Yeah. But, so I only, like I said, I am not known for being a prepared host. <laughs> I just like to talk. Yeah. Uh, None of us are prepared. You get, no, we prepared that squirrel talk. Yeah. We'll put the three of we you wanted on to the spend spot. a solid 30, 30 minutes on squirrels. Let's, let's say the average wave of classified is five figures. All right. All Four right. to five. Right. Really? Yeah. Let's get, give me your dream wave that's not been released yet if, if you oh. can pick the next five <clears throat> oh my this this would be an agent chuckles oh my. Wave. agent chuckles wave um next five that hasn't been released yet um uh i think so i'm gonna put them all together even though some might be deluxe or with pet or whatever but i'm gonna that's, count yeah, them all the one. same so law and order then we're gonna do a night force uh uh falcon with two face sculpts just because no particular reason um and then i want to see the uh the retro snake eyes version two and um i'm looking at my wall for inspiration here yeah uh, footloose Footloose, 
and let's do a driver. How about Wild Weasel? Ooh, I like There's that. My five. Yeah. Wild Weasel wouldn't be hard to do. Yeah, especially if they're going to do a, a, a 60th <laughs> pilot. You know, I'm sure they're going to use that for Ace and Wild Weasel and all those guys. <laughs> Skidmark. I think Ronnie wants Skidmark. Okay. Yeah. He could possibly <laughs> want a Skidmark. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what about you, Hillbilly? <clears throat> Me? Let me see. I didn't even give version, any thought on my own yet. No. Nah, version 3 Snake Eyes. Okay. Mm, that's a good one. That's good um, one. Me think the renegades, which would be Mercer, Taurus, and Red Dog. Nice. Yep. The count knows is one or three. 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 Three pack. I mean, right. that would be so. Okay, I want. I want to go on a tangent. Buckle up. You thought the squirrels was bad. <laughs> it would be so dirt ignorant to put them out in singles, kind of like the Crimson Twins. They should have been. It should have been two pack. Yes. At least their box is right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you put them in the order they're supposed to be in, and they don't. They should work together. Yeah. You have to Good do it problem. wrong. To... Anyhow. Um, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. It's all right. Um, so version three snake eyes, the renegades would be a deluxe. Um, so this how would game. you count that too? Oh, you can count it however you want. This is your okay. dream way. That's two talk through zombies. Oh, two pack. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> talk through viper. Okay. So what I'm up to there? Four. And hmm. You think? Muskrat with squirrel. <laughs> Don't tip me. Ah. Uh, I do muskrat? like muskrat. <laughs> yeah, and muskrat's pretty sweet. Yeah. Ooh. And like the chase figure for the whole thing would be a classified snake eyes in his LARP gear. So very nice, very nice. Uh, your wave of five, you got two snake eyes. That seems legit. That, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's probably going to happen. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised there wasn't a roadblock in there, but hey, yeah. <laughs> it could work for Hasbro. <laughs> no, so far, great <clears throat> answers. Mine's probably going to be the least, least exciting. Let's hear yours, Steve. I so any version of Snake Eyes, um, that's always my go-to. So yeah. <clears throat> I would I would like that um, Nemesis Enforcer. Like I would like to Immortal. see that. It changed like, him. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, what happened there? Yeah, no clue. How does that happen? I've never seen it before. It's something on his because it happened in one of our recordings. He oh, all really? of a sudden had really? thumbs up. It's whatever he's using. I, I swear it's not me. Like <laughs> it's you. No, it's you. It's definitely, definitely you. But the like, you saw it, right? Yeah, I, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ronnie, you're he's right. He's got some special he? program going on. He's, he's the no AI idea. over here. I'm on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on Chrome. Like, <laughs> 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 and it's and it's telling me to relaunch to update. Like. <laughs> 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 I don't know what's happening. Here. Excuse me. I don't know. That could be. No, but uh, <laughs> I really would like to see, you know, um, Nebulous Enforcer, um, um, Globulus, and uh, yes. what's the other one, man? The uh, the female one. Pythona? Yeah, it's all yeah. Cobra La. Like, I really, I really enjoyed that. You know, when I was a kid, that, that made an impact on me. So nice. I like that and the neg and the renegades, you know, and I was always a yeah. big fan of Sergeant Slaughter, even though he's out already. You know, I just yeah. like the whole the whole setup with his tank and everything that that was just real awesome for me. Yeah. yeah uh, I would like to see and this is not my list, but if you know how they do their 
uh, Python Patrol, Tiger Force, Knife Force. Mm -hmm. I want, like, and I think I've said this before, but I would love to see a Renegades, uh, the TV show. I'd like to see a line, yeah. you know, for like a store. Oh, wow. Um, off those, I think those would be great. I would like to see Resolute figures mm -hmm. yeah. as a special yeah, wave. They definitely need to do like a studio series and yes, do all the yeah. actors and yeah. all the cartoon characters. and That would be great. Yeah. yeah. Here we got one from G.I. Jokers. Alpine, Airtight, Flash, Muskrat, and Motor Viper. Yes, Motor Viper is definitely underrated. Yeah. I would Viper. buy an Alpine. I would, I mean... Oh. I would buy I, all those. Yeah. <laughs> those. And I'm not all in, but all those would be very, very cool. I would go probably, I would pick my favorite, like, you know, you hear like, here's your A tier, your B tier. I would probably go C tier with my five. Okay. Because I like characters a lot of people don't <clears> really care about. I would want a uh, hardball. Oh, yeah. Hardball would be awesome. Yeah. I would like a uh, recoil. Mm -hmm. I think recoil is really cool. What probably changed the boost? I thought the boost would be but he was, and I wouldn't give him light blue guns. <laughs> but he's a cool character. Mm. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, his guns I'm sure will be green and turn <laughs> sideways. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, he's not a C tier, but hit and run. You got to have. A oh yeah. Run. Yeah. I, I feel like we should have already had. Uh, Repeater. I think Repeater's a great drug. Repeater's going to be amazing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Tony uh, Tony's Figs did a uh, custom repeater, and it's really cool. And uh, yeah, Footloose. I'd love to see a Footloose. Yeah. I think that would be a solid list. But, I mean, if I had to replace one of them, I would really like to see a uh, Bomb Strike, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to make a little tune up on mine <laughs> instead of the um the, the second or the last snake eyes i would go um well I'll leave it nice in there. list Aaron. yeah nice list. um i would do a mill away figure and the Melway figure would be none other than the fridge. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that that would awesome. be cool. Or, or a hooded Cobra Commander. Nice. The yeah. fridge, man. No. Oh. I remember. No case you'd really want the fridge. He <laughs> smit. <laughs> <laughs> You're on mute, Casey. I had to mute. My dogs were going crazy. Somebody's oh, here. <laughs> it's fine. You guys keep talking. But, so, who would you all do for a Melloway figure if they did that again? Start with Mr. Chuckles. I would like to see... I would like to see a... He could be Colonel or General, but a hawk in his dress greens. Yeah. Oh, be, give him a little give him the envelope hat and then maybe the, the other hat to the regular dress hat. Yeah. It's something in a it's something in a different in a uniform that no one or in a in a deco that no one is gonna go crazy if they don't get them. You know, you can even ship them in a plastic baggie. <laughs> but uh yeah, something like that, I think. I I'd, I'd really like that. Like there's um who is it? Is it um, monkey? Monkey something? There's these people that are doing the monster one twelve figures. Fresh, Fresh monkey, monkey fiction. fiction. Yes, yes, that's it. They've they've got some uh, generals coming out. Like yeah. it comes with three extra heads or something. Like I'm, yeah, I need that. I need some oh, jugglers. Yeah, definitely. Which their their army. There are military figures that they're coming out with that have got different heads, so you can right. kind of yeah. build. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, the three D print a hawk head and put it on there. Boom, done. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Like I've got the 
uh, donor party figure on pre-order. Can't wait to get it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> But it reminds me of Frankenstein. He's like one of my favorite monsters. So, mm -hmm. so if, anyway. if I'm going to pick a mail away figure, I know it's not my turn, but I'm excited for this question. Yeah, your turn. I would take and I would want the, uh, you know, I love hit and run. I would want the Tiger Force hit and run because I know I'll never mm -hmm. own a three and three quarter. It's too pricey. So I would love a Tiger Force hit and run. Nice. Yeah, that's that's a cool color scheme. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mr. Steve. I don't I don't know um a, a particular yeah, thing that I would like to do that with. What I will say is like I would like it, I would like like a maybe a line that you know special order, I guess, if you had to mail away for me, but all of these Joes, you know, they started off in recruit school, you know, they graduated from Officers Academy or something like that. I would like to see them in that version of they're just coming out of recruit school. Yeah. This is just my mind working. Like before GI Joe started, they're fresh into the military or they're fresh, yeah. you know, doing whatever they did. They're in their dress blues. They're young. They're, they're, they're naive, you know, and yeah. I, I think that would be a cool, cool line or separate. That would be cool. You know, that, that's just me thinking like that. That'd be me. You see what they are. They're, they're, Yes, they're happy go lucky in some cases, but they're jaded. They know what the world is. You know, they, they they've already fought battles. They've been all over the place. You know, get them when they yeah. were just brand new. You know? Oh yeah, there he is. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that thing is mint. Woo. I changed my answer. I want I want PT shorts and PT <laughs> gray <right>. t-shirt. <laughs> 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 no way, skid marking PT shorts and PT shirt. <laughs> hey, I don't think you have to. Uh, They'd be green and orange, orange just like. <laughs> <laughs> Mail away skid mark. That's on OnlyFans, isn't it? Give <laughs> 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 oh. me a second. Yeah, there. Aaron, I got this. Uh, I got this at uh, Joe Fest two years ago. Uh, I told myself on Friday it was fifty dollars, and I'm like, "Well, if it's still here Sunday, I'll buy it." And it was still there on Sunday, so I bought it. Nice. And I'm glad nice. I did. I love it. But I really do want the O-ring, but it's well out of my price range. I've never seen it to where I could afford it. But that's why they make Braille's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got to be chasing like something. You. Yeah, we we had a guy on here not too long ago that said that the uh, Tiger Force uh, Outback was like everywhere where he's at. Ronnie, yeah, Ronnie, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good deal. I, I probably overpaid for mine, but I I love the figure so. <laughs> yeah yeah it's a it's disturbing <laughs> oh my. that's all i'm gonna say that's all i gotta say about that <laughs> well so where do you guys see this line the classified line going you know like you know we have these want lists and, and eventually they're gonna get to everything right so I think where's so, it yeah. going to go there? Like, is everybody going to be in a sub team? You know, or I, I feel like they're going to make everything in Night Force, everything in Tiger Force, yeah. everything in Python Patrol. Like, there's no end to any of this, really. Um, in my mind, uh, to me, I mean, I think classifies a healthy line. Uh, yeah, I, I think right now, sky's the limit of what they can do it feels as like long it. as they're smart with it. Uh, or two, <laughs> I tell you. I was Ooh, apprehensive really about getting the vamp because right. it's so huge, but I love it. And really, oh, honestly, amazing. it doesn't take up that much space. No, no, no. Put a couple of Joes in it, and you're you're just taking that space back up. So that's right. That's right. But nice. no, they can do a lot. Yeah, they can. I mean, there's there is no end to this. I, I, you know, and it's like, well, yeah, they've gotten a lot of the main figures out of the way, but you know, they can always. 
rejig them, give them new face sculpts, you know, do the, the studio series stuff we were talking about yeah. or, or uh, put them in new teams. I mean, there's just no, there's no end to any of this. And then that's not even, we haven't even talked about play sets, right, you know, yeah. you know, I vehicles are a little bit yeah. iffy, you know, because they can yeah. only, we're not going to get a sky striker. I just can't imagine we'll ever get anything that big, but you know, everything below that, you know, they're even talking Rattler for a, a Haslab, like, there's no end to this. This is this is this could go on for for quite a while. You know, it's I don't think it's going to go on for ten years like the original line, 10, 12, 14 years. But um, I mean, there's you never no. Know. I mean, it's yeah. A, I mean, keep buying. I mean, look at the Black Series in Star Wars. Haven't they made everybody? But how many Jedi Luke's have they made? You know, yeah, right. it's it could it could get that. We could be sitting here in twelve years, like I'm I've given up. I can't. You know, I only need 15 version one snake eyes, you know. Or I, I had to move out of my house because it's completely packed with classified. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What one thing they could do if they wanted to do new characters would be put a a show out on like one of the either on one of the streaming services mm -hmm. or something like that, or on cable. That car yeah, that's right, Kiwi. That's a good one. Yeah. 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 Yes. Well, Forgot so it seems one. like this this uh, uh, Energon comic is tied to classified, right? Like we're getting classified yeah. designs in the comic. Yeah. So, I mean, whoever they introduce in that is going to come into classified at some point, right? So, um, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, there's characters like from the IDW series that would make great figures, like Mongoose, yeah. uh, Black Hat, a couple others. Blue Ninjas. I like the Blue Ninjas. I like them. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much they can do. It's just you know, what people ask for. I mean, are they going to give happens. us like a? Are they going to give us like a classified scale Star Scream that doesn't transform? You know, that'll look good standing next to a. You know, a one six or one twelve figure. You know, like that'll be massive. Well, yeah, but you know, what if it doesn't transform, do? it's just a. I mean, remember those? Remember those like three yeah. foot tall figures that would just stand around? I mean, like they don't mind wasting plastic if people are going to buy it. You know, yeah. I would like to see. Because I don't, I don't get any of the uh, crossover GI Joe Transformer. Mm. With the O-rings, I don't get them. Yeah. Mm. But what if they change their how they're doing that and go with the Energon? You yeah, know, we get we get it like that. I think that's I think that's doable. Well, yeah, uh, Super Seven could could make the classified designs in in O-ring. You know. Yeah. I don't. There's it's GI Joe's super healthy for having no, you know, media <laughs> yeah. media besides comics that. We're we're the age group that are buying these comics, so, um, you know, I don't know. But that's the question that that, that that this always always boils down to is is how do we get the kids involved so that, you know, when we're all dead and our kids are like, I don't understand any of this crap, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he liked this guy, but I I don't know what this is, you know. Yeah, right. This is ridiculous. No, definitely, we need. Uh, I mean, Masters of the Universe, love it or hate it. They got this uh, cartoon from Kevin Smith on uh, mm. Netflix. It really rekindled my love for Masters. It's, it's really where cool. I am. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm buying a ton of Masters of the Universe stuff now. Yeah, that's it's, really it's bringing good. me back to ten year old Casey when he first got them. It, you, I think you have to have a media for long longevity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but my thought is they could do. They could uh, bring in new characters. They could give a background to Wolf Spider. Yeah, right. I, mean, I think I think in order for something like that to grow and to continue, you know, you do need to add new characters, like you were saying. You know, you do need to do the media, yeah. um, a show, something along those lines that is not just the collector's figures, because at that point, it's just a cult following. You know, when you, that's what, seriously, you know, and then when it gets popularized, that's when everything starts to grow. And then that's when it continues to, you know, go through generations, you know, just like, um, 
Ninja Turtles. Another, you know, Ninja Turtles came out. Seriously, you know, it yeah, came yeah out, I agree with you. It started off like you know, if you didn't know about the comics, right? Let's say your first introduction to it, which was a lot of kids, who made it popular, was the TV show. Yep. You thought, like you know, that was that was it. You didn't know that it started, you know, way back, you know, with these comics that just gained traction, and then it was serialized. But look where it's at now. You know, they did the live action movie. They did a serious version of the turtles. They did a goofy version of the turtles. Now they went back to when they were actual kids. You know, but it's generational now. You know, and yeah. it's well, you do need that media to keep up with it. You know, that way it's the version of introducing new characters, intro, you know, and drawing newer people in. Yeah, I seen something sad yesterday. Uh, I was at Walmart. And I cannot go to the Walmart Target without going. You see to a lot of section. sad things in Walmart. <laughs> this is this but is not their prices. I uh, I was on my way to the toys, and this I, he was probably eight years old, walking with his mom. They walked right by the toys. He didn't even look down the action figure. Really? Not didn't even. I'm 52. I still do that. We yep. Disney toys. <laughs> yeah. So, Steve, you're suggesting Ninja Turtles v. G.I. Joe uh, collab line? Is that yeah. what I'm hearing? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Snake Eyes is, or uh, Splinter is uh, an original Arashikage. He's, no, yeah. yeah. He's from the Ninja Clan. It's turned into a, a rat, and then he teaches Snake Eyes. <laughs> right, because of the mutagen and yeah. Snake Eyes. We finally <laughs> see what's under the mask. He was mutagen. He's mutagen. a, like, he's a like, rat. That's he's a rat. Right. <laughs> He doesn't get enough mutagen, so he's a, a rat human hybrid yeah, face. Like, you know, yeah, like that's what he is. You know, he's dangerous. Oh, you know, against the laws of nature. Oh, he's a squirrel underneath that, that mask. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the rat uh, is a rodent. A April O'Neil and Scarlet two pack the connection. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I just can't, now my mind is racing. My heart and my mind are racing now. With all the possibilities, man. Okay, yeah. who comes with Donatello? Mainframe? Oh. Little, uh, dial tone? Dial tone. I was Doc. Doc. Doc, yeah. That'll be... Okay, okay. all right. Everybody, who's your, who's your pair of Ninja Turtles with so G.I. Joe's? Go. That figure to come out. I'm so excited for the Doc figure. I, out of a lot, all of them that I saw, I think Doc is my favorite one. I'm, I'm most excited about that one. Since you brought it up, I gotta say it. I'm so I think for Donatello that. and Mindbender would be a good two pack. Oh, oh, a good, good versus evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like um, playing in Mindbender. Let's see. Casey Dude. Jones should come with a Dreadnought. Maybe. Yeah. For doing good and evil, good and bad. Okay. Yeah. Monkey Ranch. We don't have him. Road yet. Pig. Road Pig. Casey Jones and Road Pig. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That'll be good. Um, a foot soldier. <laughs> what what the foot soldiers come with? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, foot soldier with a, a green shirt or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, a regular. Steel Core. Shirt. Yeah, Steel Core. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Leo Leonardo would come with Storm Shadow. Oh, Leo oh Bebop and Rocksteady could come with with, with uh, Dreadnoughts, maybe. Even though that's yeah. not good and evil, but it's oh, April O'Neil and Baroness. I like that. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah. I like that. That's cool. Yeah. It only took us fifty five minutes to get on a roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teenage yeah. Yeah. Ninja Turtle Ooh. guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really. I mean, the my only turtle I ever had was the baseball player turtle that I convinced my mom to give me that we were going to buy to give to some other kid for his birthday party. But, um, <laughs> but like that, that first Nickelodeon series, um, was my son. He was six or so. We were into that super heavy. Um, cool. and, um, that's my, that's my biggest, I mean, I'm a well, I'm aware of their history and all that. I just, that's the only thing I ever paid attention to, but, but thinking about, you know, because that could get people other. I mean, think about all the Ninja Turtle fans that are out there. They'd have to buy these, and they might go, "Oh, this Tunnel Rat guy is pretty cool. Why did he come with? Oh, uh, I don't know. 
uh, Baxter Stockman, you know, or something. You're like, who's Tunnel Rat all about? You know, and, uh, Tunnel Rat. Koala they just did a Turtles of Grey story. <laughs> and we bring it all around. Back to Squirrel. <laughs> nice. I'm sorry, Call guys. Back. <laughs> oh, that gracious, man. I mean, they could just do like they did with the Turtles of Grey Skull and like mix match or yeah. make oh, characters like that. Yeah, there you go. That'd be cool. That'd of course, be I didn't cool. buy any of those. <laughs> <laughs> so would Duke come with Leonardo or Raphael, do you think? Oh. Um, well, I think that's, Duke Duke. that's gonna give him <laughs> like attitude. That I think Duke, man, Duke yeah, it's is a better fit with, with Leonardo. I would opinion. think so. I think that, that that that's a good team up, you know. Um, as much as I hate to say it, yeah, that's I, I think Raphael needs a bad guy, he needs a villain with him. You know, uh, Raphael and Storm Shadow. Raphael, mm, so I feel like Storm Shadow's too, too Ra disciplined. Yeah. Casey, you, know? you nailed it. Raphael and Zartan. Oh, that's a <laughs> mix. Yeah, yeah. Well, Zartan be trying to infiltrate to break the turtles up. <laughs> right. Discombobulate. Donatello and Destro. I okay. like it because of the weapons. Like you know, what I mean? Destro is the weapon dealer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tech. I like that one, man. I could see who's, that. One. Who's that robot turtle? He should come Metalhead. with a battle android trooper. Metalhead. Yeah. Yeah. Metalhead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Metalhead. I was a I was a big fan of the turtles. <laughs> I was a big fan. Splinter is a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> the Doctor Who collection. Oh, man. If I could find a way to fit a Tartarus in my you know, thanks, Larry. I'd be. Oh, Make my day. Oh. Hey, Larry. Hope oh, you're doing well. Yeah, I've got just, three targets down here. Yeah. <laughs> I've got I mean, four. I don't have anything, Doctor Who. No. But I do have a Cabbage Patch kid behind me. <laughs> oh, you're taking it way back. Yeah. 1984, I went to Kmart one, 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 uh, one day to... And they had a registration to win a free Cabbage Patch Kid, and I was denied because I was a boy. Ah, no Cabbage Patches for you. <laughs> no, that old, that old old lady was like, "No, you're a boy. Get out of here. Get it. Get out of here, get out of here weirdo." <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's how the love of GI Joe was born. Yeah. Yeah. Play with a a boy toy. <laughs> no, no. You know, I wish I was more focused as a as a youngster. I I had a I had mostly GI Joe and Transformers and Star Wars, but you know, I would when I think about the money I wait not wasted, but the, I could have gotten other things in hindsight. Yeah. You know, like the Rambo. I had a Chuck Norris or two. Yeah. I had you know Mask. I don't regret, but you know Mask, um, Visionaries. I mean, just all these other things that I was like, you could have taken all that money and you could have had the aircraft carrier or you could have had this or that. You know, I was like, ah, you should have focused young, yeah. young chuckles. Focus. <laughs> no, I remember whenever I was little, the hovercraft came out, the well came out mm -hmm. and my mom gave me the option of either getting the dragonfly for Christmas or the well. Mm, that's and we tough were, we were in Sears, and I'd already had one dragonfly, but the, the blades had broken off of it. Mm. And mom was like, you can either get the well or the dragonfly. Which do you want? And I'd studied on it. I knew every little in and out of the well. And if I could go back, I would smack little hillbilly in the back of the head so hard <laughs> that he could, his eyes would pop out of his head and say, get the well, stupid. I mean, I never had a will. Oh. So, no, if anybody's want to gift a will to somebody. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. We were talking about uh, the classified line, and I'm, I'm going to show you the level of my hypocrisy. Hmm. I passed on the dragonfly because of the size. Mm -hmm. I sold my hiss, and which I don't regret because the guy who got it loves it. And you know, it was, it, 
I'm glad I was able to help. That's a great way to look at it. Too big, but if they release a tomahawk, which would be bigger (laughs) than both, yes, I would buy it. That's just, I mean, I I realize how hypocritical that is. Yeah, but I have that much love for the tomahawk. That's like two hits (laughs) front to back with even bigger span the blades. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. I would definitely. I would jump all over that. Like yes. Take my money and just throw it at him. Just take it. (laughs) Just just take it. Take it all. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It it would definitely be my dream project from them because I always laugh when people's like, oh, I want a classified flag. No, you don't. You don't want it. comes with the third trailer. Right. I mean, I'd like a map on that thing. I'd like a room of the flag, like, you know, come up with, give us a place out of the main deck that you can look out a porthole or something or, yeah, or yeah, the, you know, the, the, I can't remember I, the nautical terms, what they call the main, you know, where the, the captain is. Yeah. The bridge, the bridge, you know, give us something like that with big windows that you can look out and, you know, they're always, they, they're very, they cater a lot to toy photographers and that would be a perfect thing to, to to do is just give us a section of it you know give us the cobra commander throne room or serpentor throne room or yeah. you know you don't have to give us the whole base although it'd be great but you know who could afford that or who has space for it but give us a room or something yeah i think it'd be i think they could definitely do that give us but, dr venom's laboratory yeah. with the dr venom figure and the brainwave yeah. scanner yeah yeah, that would be sick. <laughs> Rainbow scanner, or we riot. Yeah, I think yeah. we can do a playset, and this is just me being hillbilly. It has nothing to do with squirrels. No, oh, I forget <laughs> it. Whatever. So you could do like a pl- blow mold, like playset, like they do the Santas at Christmas time, where you stick out in the yard and they light up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They could do something like that, say like four foot tall. Hmm. And then on one side, you could have like Cobra Island and whatnot, have like the different nooks and crannies and stuff do in. On the other side, be a rock cliff going down to like gunner, machine gun nests and stuff to where they could like infiltrate or even a tower. I mean, how hard, how expensive would it be to pump out some plastic in a tower? Different levels. Remember how they did the Death Star playset? It could have different levels. Mm-hmm. And thanks it, for stopping by, it, Campbell. Have a good day. Thanks for stopping. Y'all have a great day. But it it could have the different levels and do different things and have different stuff in each level like the brainwave scanner in one level and yeah, that'll be neat but and it wouldn't have to be fancy <laughs> yeah yes dollhouses yes ronnie 100 yeah, we need dollhouses that's yes. basically <laughs> the gist of it uh, every time i go to a thrift store i look at the dollhouses I, do? I don't even go in any, any other aisle like I just go straight there, you know. I, I look for the accessories. That's where it's at. That's the accessories. But you could no. I like that like, idea. I do. I like that like idea. little eye beams to hold each level up, or something like that. But it on top be like it could be extensive enterprises building. Nice. One that. side have like glass. Then on the inside, be like the different levels have like the the room where the strap snake eyes down and disfigured him again. And <laughs> right, get a boy toy. God, <laughs> yeah. they're called squirrel. You know, like, and I was thinking because I'm looking at um in Casey's back, he got the uh, Castle Gray skull over there, and then same yeah. concept where you you know towards the back, you everything is a little bit different. He has a little trap door, you know. You can do that with the other stuff, just make it to scale. You know, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Pretty sick. All right. I'm off my milk my soup box now. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I think that's that's a great idea. I think it's like maybe Super Seven should run with something like that since they're getting ready to do the O rings. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that would be awesome. Yeah. 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 That's great. 
I think it was we will be pleasantly surprised with what we get from Super yes. Show, which they will be at Joe Fest. I just yes. seen that. I so can't hopefully wait they Joe have Fest. something set up that we can check out. We Casey, we got to stop in Virginia though for one quick second. <laughs> I got the bungee cords and the ratchet straps. We're going to strap Steve to the roof of the car. <laughs> <and do. laughs> I think we said we'd go to Joe Fest once we get, if we ever get to a thousand subscribers. I think we on um, yeah. YouTube we we go right. to Joe Fest. Game on. Let's, let's yeah. get them to a thousand guys. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot yeah. harder to check for me, but I'll I'll be there. I'll if, for if I had a thousand subscribers. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be that'd be cool. Definitely. Well, I'm going with 100. So <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the same person that's subscribed 100 different times. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. We appreciate your dedication. Yeah, that's right. That's right. No. That's right. Casey, you. I'm expecting a check in the mail. <laughs> I, <don't. laughs> I haven't even sent your uh, O ring Skeletron figure yet. I've had that for a month. <laughs> I'm terrible at sending stuff out. Got a spot cleared off for him. Might get Matt to sign it for me and send it. <laughs> well, as uh, we try to get to an hour, which with you guys is no problem. Yeah. I mean, we spent 30 minutes talking about squirrel gravy. So <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes talking to Joe. Hey, man, we're having fun. You know. The first 30 minutes I'll take the blame for. I'm not allowed to have caffeine today. <laughs> no. Don't take the blame for it at all. I think we all uh it was fun. We all we all gave our input on that one. <laughs> I could just I enjoyed it, so yeah. hopefully others do too. Well you'll enjoy it whenever you get here too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a list of stuff I do not eat. Squirrels on there. Squirrel was put on it uh rather recently. What you um, don't know about won't kill you. <laughs> so what I will no, don't go worry. somewhere and pick up something. It'll be fine. <laughs> He's uh, like, I'm gonna eat before I get here. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I want to thank you guys for coming back yeah. on. I mean, thank you for having us. I oh, love these you. conversations. Yeah, a lot of fun. Absolutely. Anytime. And, you know, I said it before, but you guys are welcome anytime. Yes. Oh, you just want to catch you. up? Shoot, shoot me a message. We'll make yeah. this happen because awesome. I enjoy it. It's yeah. uh, great. I've looked forward to this all week, and when I heard for a little bit that you weren't going to be on, I was a little sad. But then he said you were going to be on. I was like, yes. yeah, things worked out. <laughs> you know, back and together, and then and, uh, I was able to make it back in time, so and I'm happy because this was awesome. Yes, and you keep to keep me We'll be talking about squirrels. Yeah, one for old Steve there. Yeah, it's a yeah, squirrel sure. with a chipmunk yeah, and this and see the mole the thing. Uh, hey, Billy, this was, uh, it was my fault because I'm the one who started <laughs> envisioning. You know, when you started talking about squirrels, I was like, "All right, I'm, I'm just thinking of the little squirrel carcass, just like as you dredge it and like." <laughs> <laughs> so and it just snowballed from there in the, into uh, the classic conversation that we're. In. <laughs> and um, we'll get him to put a recipe down on his uh, Instagram. <laughs> yeah, recipe in the links. <laughs> That's right. It's, How much just you know, we, 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 we joke and all of that, but uh, end of the world yeah. happens. Guess what? I'm finding the guys that's killing the squirrels. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. hey, that one looks juicy right there. <laughs> like, I'll hook you up. That, you know, I love hunting them. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. But I don't, if I'm but that's the end of the world, you know, right now, until then. Yeah. If I'm, I'm hunting something, if I shoot it, I want to eat it. I don't that, hunt for trophies. That's a good thing, trophies. yes. Yeah. Like and that behind me is the only hunting trophy I have up here on the wall. And I was practicing my bow shooting and I split an arrow. Which is rare. It's hard to do. Split a what? Arrow. 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 Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Uh, no, 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 man. I, I'm, it, that's why I, have, I want to know. You have it's called Robin Hooding. That's what I was just gonna call it. I thought I was gonna be a Doof about you thought it, you were going to be funny. You didn't yeah. know but that was the actual term. <laughs> you have one target, and the the other one just went right into the to the knock, and just it just mushroomed out the aluminum air. Kevin Costnered it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, 
but I did that with a, a carbon there and it doesn't do it as pretty. It just splinters. Mm. I've only done it twice in like almost 20 some years. So oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> so, I like carbonara too. <laughs> I've never I'm just kidding. That. I'm just kidding. I don't know what For that key, is. Key. Before we wrap up, I just want to Let's recommend one last course. time. Go no, back. Dope thing. Is amazing figure. Valverse uh, is putting out some heat. There. And, and I've seen where pr prices are coming down because he's getting better deals. Yes. Which, I mean, right there tells you any money he saves, you save. Yeah. So one thing I've seen on one of his posts was he got a new deal with UPS or somebody. So he's like, hey, I'm going to pass on the uh, savings to you. So if you ordered a Vanguard, you get free shipping now. So, oh, it's for something that yeah. big. That's crazy. That's Yeah. yeah. I mean, how much did Hasbro charge for the uh... <laughs> <Spinner. Yeah. laughs> like I said, my English isn't very good. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I just I, I just wanted to know. I wanted to be dialed in. <laughs> oh, that's it. Well, like I said, thank you guys so much. Yes. Uh, we always enjoy it. It's been I haven't laughed so hard in a long time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> These conversations are so fun for me. I hope yeah. other people enjoy it as much as I do. Good. You guys are great. We if you do not check out yeah. Plastic Profiles, yeah. check out Plastic Profiles. Yes. Throw them a like. Throw them a sub. They are well worth it. The, All the they're a great set of guys. Funny, too. I mean, thank you. Yeah. Great guys. Keep. I can't recommend your show enough. Oh, I love it whenever you all are talking oh. about your uh, who's going to play in the movies. <laughs> Casting call. Yeah, so for Mindbender, I'm going to throw out Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow, that is awesome. <laughs> wow. I think I can see that. I, I hadn't considered that one. No, we uh, mm, that's <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, with all, all right. that being said, thank you everybody for watching. Yep. Uh, yes. Please throw us a like. Thank you, and everybody. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. Maybe share with your friends. Uh, yeah. Everybody, have a great week. I'll see you in two. Hopefully, he'll Billy will see you in one. Hey, everybody. Not, I'll see you in two. Thanks for watching, guys. All right. Thanks thank for you being all. here, y'all. Thanks for having us.